What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Digital Art with Jesus Conde and today we're going to be talking about that perspective grid that I use so um, this is 3ds Max 2016 uh, any version of 3ds Max will work uh, to do this so don't worry about what version do you have so <clears throat> I'm just going to go, gonna go straight to the point of how I made the perspective grip since this is not a 3D uh, tutorial, right? So the first thing that I need is a box. So I go to the uh, panel create geometry and I click on box. So if I click and drag, I get this um, square on the ground. And if I release the click, then I get how high that box is, right? Another thing that I need right now is to see the grid of the of the um, of the cube itself. So for that, I can press F4. So if I press F4, I can see the lines uh, of the of the edges of the of the box. And basically, what I do is I go to uh, modify and then put a, uh, a high number of, <coughs> of se segments um, in length, width, and height. So I have a lot of information there, right? Uh, the next thing I do is I put myself inside the box like this so that I have um, this effect of being inside uh, a box and then what I do is I make it longer because I need to I need a vanishing point I need something that really looks like it's going somewhere at the uh, really far away and obviously now I need more segments uh, in the length so I put more and this is what I end up with right so this is one way to do it but now we need this image and for this image what we can do is just render this out but if I render I'm gonna pr press F10 to render if I press F10 I get the render screen I go to output size and click and HDTV to get the HD resolutions if I render this out you won't see anything it will, be, it will look like this and this, is, this, this doesn't work for us uh, what we need is to see the lines in there uh, so let's create a material for that I press M and I get this little um, window with a lot of spheres I'm gonna drag this sphere to the cube just release the button just click and drag and release it on the cube and then I'm going to make everything black then I'm going to press wire and then I'm going to press two-sided which means that you can see it on both sides because we are inside and in, if, if you don't click in this um, option two-sided you, you won't be able to see the grid inside the box now if I press render again everything looks black because I have a black background so I press 8 to open this environment effects and change the background color to white and now I can render that again and I get my perspective grid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to render a few of this I'm going to put them on my folder and so you can download it and you can download this file uh, where this um, boxes in, in case you have 3ds max you can open it in, at your home and render as many as you can so that's it this is it guys thank you very much for watching this video in today's um art sharing we have the art of brad which is this beautiful painting uh with moonlight on the background and he went to the facebook page share your art and just posted uh, this painting in there there's no level required to, to to participate on this group you can be at any level of digital painting um, I also want to share the page from Barus studio but I want I gotta warn that it's only in Spanish
So if you're interested on learning uh, ZBrush, he has very interesting uh, tutorials, but it's only on Spanish. All right, so um, please at the left, you have my um, Instagram account and my Twitter account. If you wanna uh, add me there, I will really appreciate that. Uh, I will also really appreciate uh, to have a thumbs up from you and a subscription. You just, just please subscribe to my channel so you can be aware of the new videos and all the content that I upload. So thank you very much and see you next time.